As darkness covered Hyrule, a young hero from Ordona rose to restore the light. That, in a tale of forced exile, revenge, regret, and redemption, sits at the center of the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is the story of the life of the Hero of Twilight and the afterlife of the Hero of Time. When the Hero of Time was sent back to the past by adult timeline Princess Zelda to relive his childhood, Link knew that the only way to prevent Ganondorf from entering the Sacred Realm was by warning the royal family and then departed with Epona to allow the royal family to deal with Ganondorf. As the ancient sages in the era of Twilight told, Ganondorf evaded arrest prior to invading the Kingdom of Hyrule. During this great war, Ganondorf and his Gerudo warriors burned Lon Lon Ranch, Castletown, and Hyrule Castle down to the ground after pushing the surviving Hylians back to the Zora-controlled mountains. All of these events took place after the young Hero of Time departed for his personal journey and based on the fall and later counter-offensive by the Hyrulean Knights, it's clear that the Hero of Time did not return until it was all over. With Ganondorf and the Gerudo's defeat, the tribe's expulsion from Hyrule, and the Gerudo King's arrest and banishment to the Twilight Realm. Even so, his original sentence was different, namely that of death. But Ganondorf simply refused to succumb, as unaware to anyone, the Triforce split when the Hero of Time returned with the Triforce of Courage to the Child Timeline and now the Triforce of Power finally resonated within the Dark Lord. Meanwhile, the Hero of Time returned from his foreign journeys to find an utterly devastated Hyrule. Realizing that the strategy against Ganondorf had failed, he must have been heartbroken and unable to face what remained of the royal family. Hence, his remaining days are a mystery. After all, in the child timeline, unlike the adult timeline, he was never remembered as a hero as he left the stage prior to Ganondorf's invasion. Despite keeping a low profile upon his return, it appears that he and Epona were recognized by Milan. Soon things developed, but with Long Long Branch and the other settlements of Hyrule still in ruins, the hero and his new love had to search for a different home. Since both had a provincial upbringing, Link had little problems with convincing Malone to move with him out of Hyrule to Kokiri Forest. There they had plans to turn the abandoned home of the Kokiri into an agricultural village of their dreams. Link had his plan set, he would become a knight and learn a series of techniques that would help him defeat Ganondorf if he returned during his lifetime. And if the King of Evil didn't return while he was alive, he had a plan B. Have offspring with Malon and create a solid bloodline of descendants until Ganondorf's return. Eventually, after Malon became pregnant or had given the offspring that the Hero of Time craved for, he was likely called to arms and succumbed to his wounds inflicted on him in an unspecified skirmish. Unfulfilled, full of regret, and unable to pass on his hidden sword fighting skills, he would continue to wander Ordona as the hero's shade, waiting for the day Ganondorf would strike again and for when one of his bloodline descendants would rise up and face the King of Evil with the Master Sword in their left hand. Unbeknownst to the Hero of Time, Ganondorf was nowhere near breaking out of the Twilight Realm, as the Twilight, despite their forced exile, as the interlopers had accepted and adapted to live in the shadows over countless generations. Another few hundred years passed, and the restored kingdom of Hyrule, with its new and relocated castle and town, prospered like never before. The same went for the neighboring province of Ardona, where another male bloodline descendant of the Hero of Time was born and raised. Twilight Princess does not provide any information regarding Link's origins or parents, but Hyrule Historia confirms that the Hero of Twilight is a bloodline descendant of the Hero of Time. Hence, it is possible that his parents either left or shared the same fate as the Hero of Time's parents. No matter what, they departed while Link was still too young to remember them. The Hero of Twilight grew up in what likely had been the Hero of Time's home ever since he was brought into the Kokiri Forest by his mortally wounded mother. 
The house simply passed from generation to generation of links. Hero of Time and Malone to their children, then to their grandchildren, and so on until the Hero of Twilight. It is also unaware of what sort of relationship the Hero of Twilight shares with Mayor Bo, besides Link being a childhood friend of his daughter Ilya. Then you had Russell, Link's mentor and sword fighting tutor, who worked and trained together with the future hero. No doubt, Russell was close to the Hero of Twilight's parents, and when they were gone, he stepped in to fill out that void. In other words, the Hero of Twilight's childhood was better than the Hero of Time's, as he had other humans to accompany, support, and teach him how to fend for himself and survive in the dangerous world that surrounded Ordona. The threat was not exaggerated, as after hundreds of years of lingering in the Twilight Realm, Ganondorf's malice had found the perfect candidate to exact his revenge. Back then, the descendant of the dreadful interlopers, the twisted and rejected Twilight Zant, aided by Ganondorf's malice, overthrew and cursed Midna, the Princess of Twilight, and took the throne by force. Filled with hatred, the self-proclaimed king launched a massive invasion on Hyrule and put an end to the long peace. There was little they could do until Zant made his entry into the throne room of Hyrule Castle with an ultimatum. The Twilight Demons forced Princess Zelda of Hyrule to submission and accept Hyrule to be covered in Twilight. It was during Zant's invasion on Hyrule Castle that a number of Bulblins stormed Ordona, kidnapped Ilya and Russell's son, Colin, and knocked out Link. When he finally woke up, he rushed for the border of Hyrule just to find the further path blocked by a twilight gate. Link was then dragged into it by a shadow beast, and upon being transformed into a wolf, was thrown into the castle dungeon. There he partnered up with the cursed Midna, who brought him to Princess Zelda. Upon this encounter, Link set out to restore light to the provinces of Faron, Elden, and finally Lineru, and aid Midna in reassembling the fused shadow. Along the way to the Forest Temple, Link encountered a golden wolf that teleported him to a different realm. There he stood, the hero's shade, the spirit of the deceased hero of time, ready to pass on his hidden skills to the descendant that would face Ganondorf. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. The hero of Twilight had a lot to learn. But with the ending blow taught from the hero's shade, he had obtained a crucial skill to end Dark Lords and Skulchulas blocking the path to the first piece of the fused shadow in the forest temple, on to Kakariko village. There he found out that the Gorons had turned their back on the Hylians. A few sumo matches and one epic skirmish against King Bulblin later, the Hero of Twilight had triumphantly made his way up to the top of Death Mountain, claimed the bow once wielded by his ancestor, the Hero of Time, and then made his way as a wolf to Zora's domain to break the ice. There he promised to the spirit of the deceased Queen Rotella to save her son, Prince Rallus. And save him he did by escorting the Zora Prince, bar owner Telma, and the struck by amnesia Ilya to Kakariko. With his promise fulfilled, Link received the Zora armor, which opened the path to the last piece of the fused shadow. It seemed as everything went according to plan when Link and Midna were attacked and knocked out by Zant. Midna was mortally injured, and the hero once again in wolf form hurried to Hyrule Castle. There, Zelda sacrificed herself to the Twilight Princess and told the hero to draw the Master Sword from its pedestal. There were a few obstacles in the way, though, the most significant being the former friend of the Hero of Time, the Skull Kid, who, after toying around with his friend's descendant, opened the path to the ruined Temple of Time. The Hero of Twilight could finally pull the legendary blade. With this action, the curse cast on him was dispelled. Together with Midna and with the hidden skills of the hero's shade, he would then reassemble the Mirror of Twilight, which shards had been shattered and hidden inside a number of Hyrule's forgotten landmarks. Aided by the resistance in Telma's bar, Link reached the ruined fortress in Snowpeak and opened a gateway to the past. 
Then, after restoring Ilya's memory and clearing the path to Impas, the hero of Twilight made his way to an ancient civilization in the sky. All of these locations had to be conquered to retrieve the shattered shards of the Mirror of Twilight, the only gateway to the Twilight Realm. With the reassembled mirror, the hero of Twilight mastered the final hidden skill and prepared for the battle awaiting in the Palace of Twilight, where the hero defeated Xant. However, in the moment of death, Xant revealed that Ganondorf had been fully resurrected and returned to Hyrule Castle, forcing the hero of Twilight to a decisive confrontation against the King of Thieves, who for a short while took possession of Zelda's body. The hero did not hesitate to knock Ganondorf out of the body and then take down Beast Ganon. At this point, Ganondorf returned to his malice form, and Midna utilized the fused shadow to destroy Ganondorf once and for all. She failed, but with the light arrows, the Demon King was forced to a last duel against the Hero of Twilight, leading to his demise after the Triforce of Power disappeared from his hand. With Ganondorf's death, the regrets of the Hero of Time were erased, and his spirit could finally rest in peace. His bloodline descendant finished his fight. Shortly after, the Mirror of Twilight was shattered by Midna, thus closing the only gateway between Hyrule and the Twilight Realm. Hyrule celebrated the grand victory, Ilya and Russell returned back to Ordona, and the Hero of Twilight returned the Master Sword, waiting for the next hero to pull it. Waving his goodbyes to Ilya, he then once again set out for Hyrule, and the rest remains a mystery. Did he return to Ilya and continue the bloodline of the Hero of Time, or did it die out? And what about Ganondorf? Was he really dead, or did he continue to plague Hyrule? Hopefully, these questions will be answered in the sequel to Breath of the Wild, perhaps even by Ganondorf himself after he chills down a bit. But that is a story that remains to be told by Eiji Aonuma and his Zelda team. Thank you so much for watching the life of the Hero of Twilight and long journey of the Hero Shade, the spirit of the Hero of Time. If you liked the video, then smash that like button and do not miss any future Zelda Life of videos. Subscribe and press that shiny notification bell for all notifications. Less than 13,000 subscribers to 250,000 and we aim to get there as soon as possible. Finally, a big thanks go to all our patrons on patreon.com slash commonrealm and all of you who have joined here as members on YouTube. We hope that more of you will join in both of these places as your support makes these high quality productions possible. Anyway, enjoy these two awesome videos while you're still here.